What is land art? And why is environment important for art? A style of contemporary art, known as land art, emerged in the United States in the 1960s, when a group of sculptors and painters decided to alter the landscape with a number of provocative structures in order to draw attention to the way humans interact with the natural world. These interventions are land-based artworks, often large in scale, come in a variety of shapes and sizes, ranging from elaborate installations that cover large swaths of landscape with colorful fabrics to modest footprints in the ground. Other examples include encircling entire islands in a luminous fabric and reshaping rivers and volcanoes. The underlying goal of this new visual art form was to create artistic images using earth, rocks, soil, and other natural materials to heighten our sensitivity to our environment, although the precise meaning of each construction varies. Many contemporary artists have used land art as a form of protest against the commercial constraints imposed by art galleries and materialistic dealers. Ironically, these works were usually located in remote locations, were only accessible to the very wealthy, and could only be seen from the air. In addition, their monumental landscape projects were extremely expensive to produce and required the financial support of the system that the artists despised. All of this contributed to making this type of populist back-to-nature art on a large scale rather elitist, especially as art galleries and museums proved more than capable of utilizing the commercial opportunities presented by photographs and videos. To solve this problem, many land artists chose smaller or simpler projects, thus providing better opportunities for the creation of environmentally based art. However, many of these constructions were temporary and had to be recorded on camera or video, as this type of visual art uses organic materials that decay wilt or melt. Just as large-scale earthworks rely on more conventional media, so do these small constructions. Rocks, water, gravel, and dirt are some of the preferred materials for earthworks because they can be obtained directly from the environment. Land art artists have been influenced by ancient works of art like Stonehenge and have left their structures open to the elements. The ephemeral nature and eventual disintegration of the works places them outside the mainstream, where artworks are typically cherished and safeguarded in carefully controlled settings. In order to honor the uniqueness of the site, land artists have often constructed and installed their works using materials found on site. Locations are often chosen for specific reasons. Land art popularized the concept of site specificity, which again placed artists in the forefront as many of their works required large open spaces, making them inaccessible to the average viewer and challenging the very notion of art as something to be observed. Land art, like conceptual art, is not just about aesthetic pleasure and the beauty of the work. Almost all of land art presentations emphasize the rejection of commodity status and traditional exhibition venues in favor of ephemerality. As such, the majority of land art artworks were visually stunning, but these ideas were fundamental to each piece. You will find videos about land artworks in this playlist. If you like the video, leave us a like and feel free to share it. Subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon on Art Theory.